thing I don't like is how much of a pain in the butt it is to get the bar and chain on and off. So you, this is how I figured it out. You drop the chain behind the bar, pull the bar off, bring it back, get the chain off the end of the bar. There you, there you have it. Set this over here on the grinder. This has an adjustable oiler on it, and let me tell you what, it oils quite well. I have it only turned up about three clicks, and it it's set about right. Um, I could be wrong, but right about the time I run out of gas, I'm running out of bar oil, and that's just because I'm particular. I want my I want my bar to be oiled. I could turn it down, I'm pretty sure, to where I could get two tanks out of a tank of bar oil. I don't. Oh, trying to get this out here. All right, a little C clip. Running a seven tooth, which is factory. Running a thirty six, I could probably drop the tooth count down a little bit. The clutch. It's actually not that dirty. I cleaned it recently. I like to. Anytime I pack my saw out when I bring it home, I like to blow it out, pull the clutch off. You probably can't see very well, but that is filthy in there. All the oil you get on your clutch, you start losing power, it slips. And uh, I just like to clean it out. But in case you're wondering, I am completely swollen up right now. I decided to find a yellow jacket's nest today. It was, uh, it was a hoot. Yellow jacket seemed to really like me. Ride dog can attest to that. Arr! This is a lot different than like a still, as far as the oiler goes. Still has a little needle and pin. Needle and pin. It's just got a little notch in the clutch. This has a big wide notch. There's a big wide wheel in there. That. Uh, Spins around with the clutch. Needle bearing, the clutch. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit later, but it uh, goes on just like that. All in all, it's been a good saw. She's got a lot of hours on her at this point in time. I don't think I have a The emissions compliance period for a Husqvarna 576 XP 74cc chainsaw is 300 hours. I've probably exceeded 300 hours on this saw. Um, now that could either mean that I need to rebuild it, or I've checked the cylinder, I've had the carb cleaned, and uh, it all looks to par. We use good oil and good gas which allows us to, uh, you know, we, our saws are t very well taken care of. This is how we make our living, so they have to be taken care of quite well. Another point I will make, and I will try and get it on camera. It's going to be really hard. Matter of fact, let me grab a flashlight. Here we go. I don't know if you can see in there. This is a really crappy video probably. But uh, right here, this is your carb adjustment. It's usually got the little rubber thing flipped over it like this. Okay, so you can get your screwdriver in there to adjust your carb. So now when I bought this saw new, I kept having a problem with it wanting to die. wouldn't run. It uh, had no power. It'd bog out right off the bottom end. And uh, it all around kind of sucked. I hated it. I hated it uh, terribly. Hated it terribly. So I don't know if you can see these two little brass knobs on top of your adjustment here. So what those are is screw stops. It wouldn't allow me to adjust my carb past that. I only got a quarter turn 
in each direction to adjust this carb. So I took it back to the shop I bought it from and I told them, you know, well, hey, what the heck? This thing's a pile of crap. It should run. My little 455 uh, Rancher runs better than this damn thing and it's smaller. Well, what they did is they reached in there with a little pick and pressed those little, uh, they look brass, little brass pegs up and it allowed them to adjust the carb out and make it run right. How about that? So if you buy one of these and it happens to be giving you a little bit of crap and they, my saw shop did it for me for free because I bought it there, which hopefully your saw shop would be nice enough to do the same for you. That is why you're not getting the full brunt of what this saw can actually do. And like I said, Husqvarna recommends only a 32 inch bar. I run a 36. And uh, see if I can't put that into perspective. Here's a brand new 32. It's a still, still bar, but I'm pretty sure they measure them the same way. But there you go. That's the max bar, the white one, still bar on top, that they recommend for that saw. And I run a 36 on it right now, and I tell you what, she doesn't do half bad. You've seen a lot of videos with this saw, and she does quite well. Can't wait till they come out with a big bore kit for it because it'll get one immediately and really wake her up but other than that that's the most I got so far as far as a review uh, for the 576 XP Husqvarna uh, on a side note it does get terrible fuel mileage if you start to adjust the carb it gets worse mileage than a 661 still MS or a 395 XP Husqvarna, which is twice the size, or not twice the size, but you know, bigger, a lot significantly bigger. It's a 94 cc chainsaw, um, but I think that's primarily because of how high the motor revs. It, it has to work a lot to do the same amount of work as a bigger saw. Anyways, thanks for watching.